It's the Full Scoop Podcast. And now it's time for our roundtable segment. And today's Full Scoop is brought to you by the letter A. A is all about adapting. And agua. Uh, and agua. <laughs> and uh, hopefully uh, we can pull some abracadabra and, and, uh, and just pick up some topics here. Just, so we're going to play it sort of like a grab bag. But uh, if you recall, we had written down <laughs> one word, antiquity, for this episode. And, Excellent. And then I was like, well, what, are we, what the hell are we going to talk about? Then I was like, wait, we also wrote down aquifers at some point, and then Atlantis. And so I was just like, all these things are with the letter A. So I wanted to kind of open it up and, and, and just say that if you can think of any topic with the letter A, throw it out. If you notice... We've already talked a little bit about aerospace. We've been talking about AI, and uh, and now we're gonna we're gonna see what else we can come up with here, uh, based on these. So, Johnny, do you got anything? The Amazon. Nice. Let's hit it. What do we know about the Amazon? Have you you heard there's still ancient civilizations that live there that that uh, we are not allowed to have contact with? Still what? living in their old ways. I have heard those rumors, yes. I yeah, have not. What, what's this thing that we're not allowed to have yeah, contact you, they're, with? They're, like, it's, they're, like a they're like protected. Protected species. Oh, damn. Crazy. It's, I, I believe maybe only one dude has ever been able to fucking go in there and, and, and mingle with that. I don't think he ever came back. Oh, no way. Okay, I, I no, saw a video. <laughs> I saw a video about that. They're Where, they're just catching aerial aerial right small little aerial right, uh, right, right, uh, right. like videos of them. Wait wait are are they by any chance are they cannibals? Uh, maybe maybe shit because because it might be this story, dude. I heard this story about a guy who went to meet with this you know like this secluded secluded tribe, and they were suspected to be cannibals. The guy had. I think a camera with him and he, he got some photographs and those got back out with the expedition, but he stayed and he was never heard from again. And people thought that maybe he, he was joined eating, them for lunch, that he was, he joined them for lunch. <laughs> he stayed for dinner. <laughs> is what happened. <laughs> no, no, I'm not hungry. No, no, no but he, <laughs> what else? Here's, the, here's the badass part, dude. Apparently another documentary crew with, um, with a video camera equipment went went back like 15 years later or something and they have these super long canoes and like 20 20 dudes you know will will be on yeah. their rowing and you in the the middle of that boat you can see one of those guys with like curly red hair and like white skin among all the other like he's, he's still there guys. just smoking the hookah with apparently them apparently he just stayed just <laughs> like he th- that's a possibility apparently that he might yeah have just stayed and adapted to the lifestyle that'd be fucking harsh man these people run around have you seen the the indigenous people's feet um uh, the the, yeah. the way their their toes almost look like fingers yes I man that's a that's a lifetime of running around the brush that there's a lot of people that go in and they're like they they have to you know they're carrying this film equipment and they're trying to live the lifestyle and they just can't make it like there's 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 like it's super hard um so uh, uh that's kind of like a segue there to another another thing that i read but apparently it's it's the 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 socks and shoes uh really force our feet into these into these right. patterns but if you start going without them like your feet it, it, can actually start adapting revert, and start right, more right. like I, I honestly man. am thinking about doing the switch. Uh, what, what do they call them? Bare shoes, or something like that, oh, or bare feet shoes. Right. Or, or but e- but even those, dude, the Vibram Vibram uh, five finger shoes or something. Like Vibranium, that. yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Now they're they're specifically designing these to allow your foot to have the the expansion as if. You oh. were walking barefoot. They're, I think they're called barefoot shoes. Right. Yeah, there you go. They're, like something about their design. Looking. And the, the thing is that you're supposed to ease into them. Right. And, and, you know, there's different stages that you have to wear because, like, you're, you're, you'll start to have pain because your feet aren't, you know, used to that. Right. And eventually you'll be running like Usain Bolt. <laughs> no way. 
That is crazy. Wow. So barefoot shoes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, back Have to you the, tried that? Have you no. tried putting your fingers interlocked into your toes? Um, kind of, yes. but like, no, but like like all of way, all the way. No, like I, yeah. I've only to, to stretch a little bit, right? Like it's, it, it kind of feels a little bit. It feels nice, but as far it's as tight. like actually doing, yeah, like I'm seeing the pictures where the guys like yeah. got like holding them, like, like like when you put your hands together, open. you lace yeah. your fingers together. That yeah, that, that looks painful. Like that, like that much. I, I can't. Painful. I can't get that. I can't do it. And, and I have foot pain like bad, so I'm really thinking about that. Like, I want to show you. So, so we were talking about the cannibal, right? And yeah. uh, the, the guy, his name was Michael Rockefeller. And uh, I'm, I'm showing you a picture here where you can kind of see the guy on the boat. Well, that's New Guinea, right? Yeah, uh, Papua, Papua, Papua New, New Guinea. Guinea. Papua New yeah. Guinea. That's right. Yeah, which I remember, we that. I remember that story. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of cool. He just kind of, you know. Fuck it. On. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no responsibilities, man. Just, um, what are you like talking about? Back. That is the most. If you don't get up and do what you have to do that day, you might die. Right. <laughs> like, it, it, yeah. people fucking think that, man. But it's no. Like, you, you got to do your shit. No, I just mean no taxes. You know, that kind of thing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Like, no, <laughs> none of the first modern world, world responsibility. Yeah, no <laughs> yeah. first world problems. Just survival. Wait a minute. It's all How instinct, the fuck did his, does he keep getting his prescription glasses? <laughs> 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 what happens when those break? <laughs> and they just, can, every time they break, his like he just, like, bends the frame to be smaller and hold the smaller <laughs> oh, piece. Oh, fuck. So I think he's, he's just stuck to gathering berries now. <laughs> he's <laughs> or, not going to get anything. <laughs> or or this uh, return to nature lifestyle has improved his eyesight. Oh, shit. Uh, Maybe. There's a lot more sunlight out there. You can probably see things better. Yeah. You don't have to be staring at a computer screen all day. <laughs> yeah, I know that doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> There's one white dude in the middle. Man. <laughs> like, so funny. It's just fucking <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'll, we're, we're gonna grab that. We'll share that with the uh, the full scoop audience because I love this story, man. But um, but going back to the Amazon, so they're supposed oh, yeah, to the be, um, it, it's supposed to have a super rich culture for going back eons, and uh, when supposedly when the Spaniards went. They got books of the writings they brought back to to Spain, talking oh. about these these indigenous people, and you know years and years later when they went, there was no one there. And they're like, "What the fuck? What's going on?" So what? they basically killed them off with smallpox and shit like that by accident. Oh. And and the the Amazon grew back and covered all their pyramids and shit, but they're doing they're doing lidar scans aerial scans of the of the area and you can see whole cities and pyramids and shit oh, that are completely 100 percent overgrown that's awesome it's crazy so in case anyone is wondering just how big and thick the brush in the amazon can be it's okay. covering entire cities that's a thick oh, bush yeah. the amazon was the, big, the largest the largest rainforest in the world yeah i think yeah i believe so it's huge and, and, and we've already lost like 50% of it. That is correct. That's way too much. <laughs> All right. Well, that was, that was fucking interesting. See what Very happens cool. when we just adapt? Just toss uh, it. I, I like this whole A thing. You mentioned aquifers, Alan. And oh yeah. I wanted to recommend this book called Running Out in Search of Water on the High Plains by Lucas Basir. Jesus and essentially, Christ. it's, a, <laughs> it's, a, it's I read this book for, for one of my classes. And it's all of this examination of the Ogallala Aquifer here in the United States, which stretches from northern Texas all the way to like south, south, southern South Dakota. And it's one of the largest aquifers in the world. And as with a lot of aquifers, it's in danger of being depleted. Like we're just Ooh, using up a lot up. of the water. Right. You know, it does supply drinking water to millions of people, especially within the Midwest areas here. And the book is a great examination of not just the history of how it came to be depleted, but an examination of just all the decisions that have led to it on a federal political level, on a state level, on a local level, on an individual level, just how it's gotten to this point. Sounds and, very you know, what maybe what can we do anything <laughs> about it? Is it too late? Is it not too late? 
And yeah, it's, it's a great book for anybody who's interested in water conservation and things like that. It's actually a really, really good book to, to examine and just... And, and a lot of it, unfortunately, does fall into the into the classic, um, well, if they're drilling water, I'm going to drill water might as might as well, you know, like, right. we're supposed to conserve, yeah. but I know the neighbors hey, are doing it, so water. I'm going to do it too. Yeah, <laughs> he's <laughs> drinking all the water. water. <laughs> <laughs> and it essentially becomes a game of that, like, okay, well, he asked people, like, why are you why are you doing this if you know you shouldn't? Well, I know my neighbors are doing it. Yeah, this motherfucker's taking gonna, it all. <laughs> they're going to use it all up, so I might as well use up what I can. And Jesus. yeah, it's just, a, it's a just really leaving really good the book. faucet on. Like, <laughs> fuck you, neighbor. <laughs> <laughs> Damn but, it. Oh yeah, shit, right. that thing's huge. Is that it? It's huge. Yeah, that's it. God damn. Well, we don't we get, get our water from there. Fuck. Uh, we get. So it what from... you're saying is, I should start drinking more water. We <laughs> <laughs> start bottling they water. They waste it all. <laughs> we, need, <laughs> we need that. Uh, uh, what was that? Uh, that seed vault, but we're gonna need a water vault. Right. Oh god. Well, it's I, called the ocean. I, it's called we, the ocean. We can't drink it. It's all salt. Wait, yes, Johnny, you're can. saying that we don't get the we don't get the water from this aquifer? Um, do we? I mean, I don't know. It looks like we get a little bit. We get a little mostly bit. Mostly yeah, comes from do. the from the Rio Grande, doesn't it? Well, depending on where you are. Oh, uh, depending yeah, on where you are, because there are some like you, you got the you got the Amistad the Amistad aquifer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, well, if that's, if that's, like where, that's where Antonio. most of Texas is getting their water, I mean, I'm, you're fucked, but uh, mine comes from Fiji, so I guess I'll, I'll <laughs> all the way from Fiji? Yeah. That's why they're it running out of the rainforest. <laughs> it says it on the bottle. It's right there, Fiji. <laughs> Damn. I drink tap water. <laughs> uh, do you really? I do, too. You, you, didn't, you didn't care about I, the PFAS? I, I don't give a fuck. I, I, yeah. I think at this point it's too late. Yeah, like... I try, I, I, we drank the goddamn Mexican faucet water all our lives. And we it was fine. cleaner okay. back then. <laughs> That's the thing, isn't that? Not, not, up? Not, not the Mexican water. Uh, yeah. It, it was. You well, it had back, how many bodies are down there? It had bacteria, but our body digests that and like adapts. But this is PFOS. This is synthetic. Our body can't do anything with it. Just cancer. So. Hey, but the fucking PFOS <laughs> is, is traveling by way of cloud, bro. It rained on your fucking mountain. That's how come there's snow and wherever that water's going down. You already Mm-mm. got it. Mm-mm. Mm-hmm. Not in Fiji. Not in Fiji. Bullshit. Bullshit. They told it me traveled. It, was, it traveled. They told me it was clean. It does It sound was like naturally a- filtered, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Does the natural filtration process filter uh-huh. out PFOS? Um, I'm going to go ahead and say no. Damn it! You mean it like if you find it in the out. stream, is it going to have PFAS? Was was like what no, you the just stream said, right? itself. Uh huh. It's contaminated the stream because itself of the clouds. will be, but I think there's like a, a like you can't just scoop it out the the stream. Uh huh. You know, there's like animal turd and stuff. Uh, do what like you have to get it where where it goes into the the rock and sand and charcoal, and then there's like a drip. Right. That's what you fill it up with. Well, that's not right. natural. You that's to, filtered. Yeah, naturally. Actually, filtered. that is that's a natural way. Yeah, yeah. You have to, like, moss, I think, is also actually that. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. You get some activated. Oh, okay, okay. You're saying in the environment, and, does it right? The environment filters it. Well, I could only imagine that if it were an underground stream, it would be clean because now it's gone through all those things. Right. But you see, we have if to you're dig saying, for make our water. a hence like, the hence somehow. the Ogallala aquifer. Yeah, trying yeah. to preserve it. Yeah, right. Exactly. God damn it. Well, this is news. This to is me, the circle man. of life. Yeah, Ogallala <laughs> Aquifer. That is ah, fucking yeah. amazing. All right. Well, I I have a little story today, and it is about Atlantis. And um, I didn't prep anything for this, but um, apparently we found all of the descriptions of ancient Atlantis. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> breaking news. <laughs> I should it's have Atlanta, led with it, this. I should it's have Atlanta, led with Georgia. This. My bad. It's been there the whole time. <laughs> you just had to look. Like you know, nobody looked. <laughs> nobody ever used Google Earth to look for Atlantis. That's why. Uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna link to this video because it's really interesting. There's this one guy on YouTube who has been like he's been making follow up videos and. I don't know if he's qualified or has a degree in something, but he puts on a he he puts out a lot of research and he like will link to research papers and 
you know, things from historians where they 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 talk about ancient Egypt, they talk about ancient Greece and their reports. And he kind of like pieces those things together. And he says, we've been looking in the wrong place because obviously the stories are that this thing sank beneath the waves. And so it was lost. Er Everybody's looking underwater. Everyone's looking underwater. There's been enough time that it's probably dried the fuck up already. Yes, exactly. So there was ah. a, the, the, it's gotta be the shifting, the shifting in in the uh, tectonic plates and all right. that stuff. So that it's been a yeah. long time, and so apparently the description of of Atlantis is that it it was it had like built uh, waterways in concentric circles, and one of uh, with a main opening towards the oceans, and when you take this description there's actually some landmarks in the middle of the sahara desert and yes you so you were right africa in was the middle of the africa sahara desert that time. have no explanation you and mean the sahara forest <laughs> well <laughs> the sahara is a desert man it's a desert now man no, uh, it is. so <laughs> these things like they kind of look like a like a meteor impact or something to me but they also very closely match. What if it was both, right? What if there was a meteor impact and then there happened to be like uh, uh, an, an ocean or a lake or something that formed and filled up these concentric circles and then they kind of like adapted it. Um, and then, you know, add on to that erosion over thousands or tens, tens right. of thousands of years. But this, there's this ring in the, it's called the Eye of the Sahara. And working backwards, if it were to be filled with water, it would very closely match all of the descriptions given by ancient Egyptians and ancient Greeks about mm. Atlantis. Uh, even sort of the general location of it before the whole world was mapped, you know? They kind of had relative uh, placements and locations of things. So mm -hmm. maybe this is where Atlantis is, uh, was, was at once. I like it. It's like when we found the remnants of Troy. <gasps> did we? Did. Was that I'm gonna last we year? Did. When did we do that? <laughs> <laughs> I I did that. It's, it's been a I while. I missed that news. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> oh. We found Odysseus' <laughs> ship. <laughs> it's probably there in, in Atlantis. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. He, did he, sail he parked it, came back, and it was gone. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> Just a just a, a lake where he left. Oh come on! <laughs> well, yeah, I mean that that goes back to uh, how how easy it is to lose history. You know. There's, yeah, there's, yeah. I think everybody assumes that that we've always had these meticulous records of everything we've ever yeah. accomplished and everything we've. And done. maybe we and did. Some civil, yeah, exactly. Some civilizations, I'm sure, did. But catastrophe, and again, back then, only like one or two people in the entire village could read or write. Right. So if they yeah, lose the, the, their collection, right. it's the royal, gone. The royal, the royal line <laughs> yeah, would, would exactly. be the only ones that could read. If something and happens to them, only it's that, lost. This, these were still primitive times where mm -hmm. uh, nations would take over other nations and completely demolish and destroy all history right. of them. They would literally wipe a whole race off of the, the yeah. face of the planet or, all and the then time. They incorporate what they liked, and then that also gets lost in translation. Yeah. yeah oh, yeah. That's how pff, Christianity fucking... Yeah. <laughs> Why do we out? have trees to celebrate the birth of Christ? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. Burn it up. <laughs> oh, wait, no, that's... No, no I don't know what trees that is. in Jerusalem. I don't know that, that came from. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, the, this kind of ties into the, the ancient Tower of Babel. Right, you mentioned the the Bible. Ooh, I've never read yeah. it, but I think that's you know part of the. Wait, Bible. that's a B, sir. That's a B. <laughs> right, <laughs> you're jumping but ahead. But we're talking about antiquity, right? And so, oh, the, what's older so, than the okay. Bible? Nothing, because there was nothing so before. Apparently, <laughs> like some some people think that that was an actual event that happened, uh, where there were there was a time in humanity where we could all communicate and. Some sort of um, some sort of mass event happened on the planet, maybe like that that wave, right? The the ancient flooding that mm -hmm. caused people to separate into different continents or, or be be uh, right. landlocked to themselves, and they had to every like, people's over history time, accounts they, for a, a flood. Yes, so they they developed their own their own stories. They de developed separate languages, and that's kind of like the story of of 
of the Tower of Babel is that all of a sudden they weren't able, by, by an act of God, they were no longer able to communicate with each other. And so they were not able to complete <laughs> this tower to flood, the heavens. <laughs> so. Egypt, when, uh, what's her face? Cleopatra, Cleopatra was around? Right. She was already excavating areas of Egypt. Dude, yeah, yeah, yeah. We talked During about her time. time. Egypt yeah. was already ancient by Egypt the time was ancient Egypt yeah, dude. developed. That's insane. We Egypt are closer. Had ancient historians. Yeah. Cleopatra was alive a lot closer to us than when Egypt started. Yeah. <laughs> how fucked up is that? <laughs> like, that. that's how old some of these civilizations... They were already digging shit up. Really, yeah. And like, the, a, a, lot so of, a lot of their own history was already lost to them. Right, exactly. Be, be, before they we ever even They didn't even know discovered. that shit was there. And that's their fucking hometown, bro. <laughs> 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 the fuck? <laughs> The, so that's what they said happened to the Sphinx, where it, it they're saying it was an animal skull. It was an actual lion. Some other motherfucker came around years and years later, they carved his fucking it. face into it. it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's so that's why the gotcha, face looks gotcha. so so tiny. Like, it's completely misproportionate. It, it's, al- it's almost as if, like, in Had a it few been thousand from years from now, if, if something were to happen to the United States... Thousands of years from now, somebody's exploring like the North American Midwest, and they're gonna see Mount Rushmore, and right. they're like, "Whose faces are these? Like, what's no, up with that?" No, it's gonna be four different people. It's yeah. right. not even the ones that are, that <laughs> are there right now. <laughs> it's not even Washington and Lincoln. Or somebody else right. came along, yeah. and put their face like, on Pikachu, it. Pikachu, Ryan Reynolds. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "What kind of?" But look at that head. Look at that Sphinx this? head. You know, I never if they noticed had planned that. that if so they had true. Yeah, if it wasn't the original fucking plans, that head should have been like fucking six times larger. Bro, I, I never thought of that. That's amazing. The erosion that it shows shows that it was from a time of tons and constant rain, which was, oh. I, I can't remember supposedly oh. how many thousands of years before our, right. our known ancestors of Egypt. So they fucking think that that fucking Sphinx is way older than we ever could imagine. Oh, shut listen, up. Listen to this. Cleopatra is closer in terms of years to the opening of Pizza Hut than she is <laughs> to when the pyramids were completed. We're, we're, right. Yeah, we're built. Right, right, right. Yeah, like those pyramids, the, the great grand opening was completed of Pyramid Hut. 2560 yeah. B.C. That's crazy. So she's closer to she's closer to the moon landing than she is to when the pyramids were completed. Wow! Like dude. that's that's how ancient that culture. I, I was. think that's what they have. Yeah. People have a hard Egypt time and, fathoming and, uh, those that, that amount of time and that amount of years. Yeah. Right. Right. Like right. even though you say it, I'm like, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> sounds no, ridiculous. It's still a long time ago. <laughs> but that uh, yeah. that should give you like an idea of like just honestly how much history has been like 99.9999% of history is lost to us that we will yeah. probably ne- unless we figure out time travel we will never know for sure what exactly I don't like, think I don't think we could ever go back though I don't mm-hmm. I don't I don't believe we're going to have to cuz uh, the game game's over in 2100 so is that <laughs> is that the new Mayan calendar no <laughs> supercomputer that that told us earlier. oh that's right yeah, that's the right. supercomputer it's, it's, it's so. to be it's fair called, that, that calendar was the, the mayan supercomputer we need to, we need to rewind the program the called mayan calendar <laughs> <laughs> the mayan countdown <laughs> the rapture <laughs> uh, but yeah i don't believe in 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 a linear time travel oh. i don't believe in a linear time mm, mm, mm-hmm uh, like the past, present, and future, like th- those are created in humans' head as a concept to like, understand, put it down on to, to, to understand something, right? To entropy. put it down on paper, to understand, to interpret, and to to a, to be able to communicate in a specific way. Right. Um, I, I only believe there is a now, and like they say, time is relative. I said, well, I don't think it's, time's not relative your molecules function differently depending on where you are is what mm-hmm. that means. Mm-hmm. And, and you know what the uh, most accurate way to keep time is? Uh, what did you say? The, uh, the atomic clock? The atomic clock? Correct. 
vibrations of an atom. Ah, yes. But when you put this atom in different places under different forces of gravity, it'll vibrate differently. Ooh, yeah, well, you got to incorporate gravity, man. But I do, so I do believe there is a a way to travel into the future. You're not necessarily doing anything. You're not, there's nothing different to you. It just happens to be where you are. Your molecules will vibrate slower and everything around you is slower than what's going on in the distance. So, oh, man, there's no jump backs. There's no returns. Right. There's no comebacks. You can't go forward. We know that already. So, you know, and that's just that just comes with the the understanding that there there is no past or future or, or there is only now. There is only what's happening at that moment. Well, Very good. I like that. as we're talking about atomic clocks, I'm reminded of our recording clock and realize that it is time way past to wrap <laughs> up the full scoop. it's in the red we've got so we're, we're gonna completely cut out johnny's explanation and make it look awesome. like he had no answer for my question <laughs> i'm gonna cut it to uh, at where he says uh uh <laughs> well thank you for the <laughs> <laughs> thank you <laughs> if you want to no. catch the whole thing you're gonna have to look at our nuts <laughs> yeah no, but we have, we've had a really good show today. We've had a bunch of headlines that we dove into. We had a few corrections and follow-ups. We had a skit for you today, and we're going to try and have one at least once a month. Uh, but don't hold us to that because, you know, it's, that's a, it's a lot of work. We're still looking for an intern to help us edit all this stuff. So if you know anybody, like a, go ahead and a third job for let me. us know. <laughs> yeah. Like, i got to show up here, and you still give me homework while yeah. I still have to go to my job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> That's what it is, man. It's uh, <laughs> it's extra. You know, I dropped out. <laughs> pretty good stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so, listeners, thank you very much for joining us today and sticking around. That is our show for now. You know, we've learned a lot today about aquifers and atomic clocks, and I really want to thank Johnny Kelso for enlightening us there. It's Just- probably wrong. <laughs> but I sell the shit out of it. You know what? But it sounded correct. And I think that's really what's most important here. Mm-hmm. Can you say it with conviction? And I think he did. He, he said it with authority. <laughs> uh, letter A. You can find links for today's stories in the show notes. And don't forget to join us next week. We'll be talking about siestas. That's naps. <laughs> 